everyone, I'm Eleni Doloritos, key reporter for today. I have three objectives. First, differentiate problem solving from mathematical investigation. Second, give samples of problem solving and sample of mathematical investigation. Third, solve sample problems accurately and comprehensively. Problem solving is a convergent activity. It has definite goal, which is the solution of the problem. So, it is being said that problem solving is at the heart of mathematics. So, can you imagine mathematics without problem solving? I don't think so. On the other hand, mathematical investigation is more of a divergent activity. Students are expected to pose their own problems after initial exploration of the mathematical system. Say pose, it is we will create or constitute. So this process is kind of broad, challenging yet exciting. Why do I say that? our critical thinking skills will be used and our range and our understanding will enhance? And of course, students are free to choose on what aspects of the given situation he or she would like to investigate and formulate. And now, let's understand and internalize this so further. Question is the whole process of problem solving, including the problem method of obtaining an answer and the answer itself. This provides the bridge between the mathematics class and it is crucial for the development of productive citizenship. It is the application of mathematical skills and reasoning problems encountered in everyday life, such as problems range from simple complex. So how students benefit from problem solving? A students benefit in problem solving activity in two ways. First, students learn about problem solving. Problem solving activities introduce them to the problem solving process itself, the range of strategies or approaches that can be used to solve an unfamiliar problem. For example, to find all the numbers you can make with the digits 1, 2, and 3 requires students to be true thorough and systematic in their approach. This is an important problem solving Nonetheless, to solve our real life problems, we need to be able to draw upon our mathematical skills and use them to reach a situation which is reasonable and appropriate for the particular situation. Mathematical investigations is an open-ended problem in which students can go in different directions. When we say divergent, it has the various forms, characteristics, or ideas that we possibly discover, formulate, and acquire. Because of mathematical investigation, we provide multiple entry points for students at different ability levels. solve the given examples of problem solving and mathematical investigation by following the suggested strategy. First is read carefully and then do basic operations if applicable. Things to remember is be sure of what is actually required. Second is extract all useful information, detect tricks, traps, or distractions, then look for a simple method hidden amongst the details. In the given problem, how many cars are needed to transport 82 children if each car can take 6 children? Like this one, the calculation is quite simple. The hard thing is to read the information and the question is to see what is required. Only simple division is required, right? Dividing 82 by 6 to give 13 and remainder 4. You didn't have to think what the remainder for means in this problem. In this case, it means you need an extra vehicle so that 14 vehicles are required. You can't leave the 4 kids behind. 7 loaded trucks contain 62 tons. How many tons would be there in 3 loaded trucks? Method is find how many tons in 1 loaded truck by division. Find how many tons in 3 loaded trucks by multiplication. So in this case, 7 trucks contain 63 tons. Then 1 truck contains 63 divided by 7 equals 9. 
Three trucks contain 9 multiplied by 3 equals 27 tons. Let's use the backward method. The problem is, I have just thought of a number. I multiply by 3, then I add 4, then I divide by 7, the result is 4. What is the number I started with? The last number was 4. This was the result of dividing by 7, so the second last number was 4 multiplied by 7 equals 28. This was the result of adding 4. So the third last number was 28 minus 4 equals 24. This was the result of multiplying the start number by 3. So the start number was 24 divided by 3 equals 8. In the backward methods, we work through the steps backward. We do the reverse operations, which is example. Positive is the reverse of negative. The fifth strategy is break problem into steps. For example, for carrying goods between two towns, a truck driver changes key 4 for the first 10 kg and key 1 for each additional 5 kg or part thereof. How much it costs to send 112 kg of cargo between the two towns? So first is work out the first 10 kg. It costs key 4 and remaining weight is 120. 102 kg. Then step 2, let's how many kilogram lots or part thereof in the remaining weight. So 102 divided by 5 equals 20 lots and 2 kg remaining. This is counted as 21 lots of 5 kg. Then step 3 is cost of the 20 lots of 5 kg is key 21. So 21 multiplied by key 1. So the total cost equals key 4 plus key 21 equals key 25. The sixth strategy is convert words to symbol. The problem is a taxi driver charges a fixed amount when the meter is turned on and 60 toy per kilometer traveled. If a 9 kilometer ride costs key 6.35, then what is the fixed charge? Use the symbol F for the fixed charge. Then 6.35 equals F plus 0 0.60 multiplied by 9. 6.35 equals F plus 0.60 multiplied by 9 is 5.40. So it equals F equals 6.35 minus 5.40. So fixed charge equals 0 0.95. The next strategy is disregarding useless information. Mr. No kept a record of the odometer readings and the amount of petrol added each time he filled the tank. Find the rate of petrol consumption. So let's have a table. Odometer reading in kilometers is 41,684 is equivalent of 17 number of liters to fill the tank. Then 41,969 is 26 number of liters to fill the tank. Then 42,134 is 19 number 19 liters to fill the tank. The 17 letters is useless information since the real information is 26 letters used to travel. So 41,969 minus 41,648 equals 285 kilometer. And 19 letters used to travel 42,134 minus 41,969 equals 165 kilometer. This gives average rate of consumption equals 285 plus 26 equals 10.96 km per liter for the first part and 165 plus 19 equals 8.68 km per liter for the second part. Or overall, 42,134 minus 41,683 plus 19 plus 26 equals 450. 50 plus 45 equals 10 km per liter. So now let's proceed to mathematical investigation. Let's have a 3-digit number and invest write down a 3-digit number. So for instance, we have 541. Then, reverse the digits and subtract smaller from larger. From 541, it becomes 145. Then reverse the digits of the result and add. 541 minus 145 is 396. And we are going to reverse, it becomes 693. 396 plus 693 equals 1089. Then let's investigate the process.
then let's gather and record data for more investigation so for instance we have 792 and the reverse of that is 297 and we are going to subtract and the result is 495 the reverse of it is 594 then add then the result is 1089 and so on so next is looking for patterns so we are going to discuss what we have noticed and what patterns we can see next is making conjectures we collected and the pattern seen let's make a conjecture so the conjecture are the final result is always 1089 then after the subtraction step the digit is always 9 and the result is divisible by 9 so let's gather more data to test the to test conjectures so as you can see for instance 683 minus 386 which is the reverse of 683 this equals 297 and the reverse of 297 we're going to add the 792 it always equals 1089 so as the other date revised conjecture if two adjacent integers are the same the difference will be 99 and the sum is 198 now let's verify the conjecture so 554 minus 455 is 99 so plus 99 is 198 same with 887 922 is 661 and 574 further understand let's organize numbers that have resulted in a difference of 99 and the sum of 198 are 766 211 554 and 887 and 574 look carefully at these numbers and see if there is anything about them which is the same look at the digits then make a conjecture the first and third digits differ by one let's organize the data by grouping numbers with the same difference between the first and the third digits final result is 1089 unless the first and last digits differ by one in which case it is 99 after the subtraction, the middle digit is always 9, and the other two digits are given by multiplying the difference of the first and third digits as listed in the table above by 9. For example, for 471, the difference between 4 and 1 is 3. If we multiply 3 by 9, we get 27. Therefore, after the subtraction, the result is 297. Then, verify. So, the important conjecture to ver verify at this The important conjecture to verify at this stage is the second one and this is done by choosing numbers that have a digit difference of 4, 6, or 9 as there are none of this in the data gathered. Then extend the problem. Then let's consider two digit numbers. 73 minus 37 equals 36. So the reverse is 63 so equals 99. Same with 91 at the 7 and 52. Lastly, our final conjecture so the results of the subtraction is the product of the difference of the digits and nine then the sum is always 99